this particular aspect is very new to me so yeah. uh that kind of did take me aback i was like oh people care that much because okay i guess because it's not like i've not been seen with other people you know i have but uh i don't know i think it was new to me and i was a little taken aback and it made me a little uncomfortable but then i realized that it's like part and parcel of what i want to do and if it is then so big they expect first they are like you know yeah celebrities they get so dressed up where are they going what are they doing theek hai chalo i'll come out simple she looks like this yeah who will exactly. give her work aise to meri dost dikhti hai when i was a budding teenager and i had to see urmila ma'am looking like the her finest self you know looking yeah, so graceful and vivacious and i was sitting there as a teenager with braces in my you know braces in my mouth and my muchi and all that and i was like when will i look like that don't see people in your positions to like come and debut with a music video so uh-huh. there are of course eyeballs ke acha kitna bahut log jo cynical hote bhi hai ki kya kar legi ab mm-hmm. jab itna numbers aa gaya and you know your second song is also coming up i want to know that initially did you feel that pressure that you have to deliver maybe that added pressure because more eyes were eyes were on you not at all i was at such ease you know i think i think the word is ataraxia i was at, i was at an ataraxic state because i was like things cannot be better you know i was sitting there feeling sanguine i was like i am debuting with hardy sandhu you know the hit machine and jani is written the lyrics beeprax done the music arvindar sir is directing me i was like ah oh, what a pleasant you know what a pleasant place to be in so no i was in a very happy state i didn't care what people thought of it because i was obsessed with the song i was obsessed with the team and i couldn't wait for people to see what we've created there so for me i know you know people have always thought but then again our personal life is also very yeah, you know uh, unheard of it's it's a huge anomaly to a lot of people so i'm very uh, very okay with anom- anomalies and they've always gone my way so i think i'll always stick to that and what about mangta hai kya you know when you do it it's an iconic i don't know if you were i don't think you were born when mangta hai no i was i of course was born <laughs> so i'm quite old um and it's an iconic song truly in every uh, right did you see the song before you uh came on board for this hello listen i love rangila i love that film and yes i wasn't born but i have i saw that film actually at a worst time when i was a budding teenager and i had to see urmila ma'am looking like the, her finest self you know looking you. so graceful and vivacious and i was sitting there as a teenager with braces in my you know braces in my mouth and my muchi and all that and i was like when will i look like that you know uh, so yeah i saw rangila i love that film mamir sir what an you know brilliant performer as always and uh, no i really love that film and so when the song came initially i was a little taken aback because again i went back to that child sitting and watching urmila ma'am with braces and thinking oh, shit people can be that good looking uh, so i was like oh god you know how will i match up to that because she truly was so many guys ka you know like focal point of desire i, I yeah. you know i'll say and i was like you know to live up to that and i was like i don't know i don't know about this but then we found out that you know it's it's not like recreating it in a sense but it's paying homage to it and once i realized how different it is and what a young take it is and how new it is it was like it was inelectable for me i had to do it right away i was like yeah yeah let's do it let's do it let's do it and plus ganesh acharya sir is directing yeah. it and choreographing it and for me to be choreographed by him was such an honor yeah like he's u antava he's done naja he's done and i was like oh god but i was so excited you know when you speak about um you as a teenager and as a youngster today social media can be very ruthless and it has been tell me about it huh? yeah Now, they have always targeted your personality more than your craft and they have always targeted the way you look um does it get to you because there are so many young men and women out there who go through it regularly and they uh, you know somehow unko samjhaya jata hai wo believe bhi kar lete hai ki they are not good enough you know i will uh, say he doesn't affect me as much as people think it should kyunki maine realize kar liya hai ki ye log kabhi khush nahi honge and i said this earlier in an interview as well it's that they have made a circle for themselves you know they expect first they are like you know ye celebrities they get so dressed up where are they going what are they doing theek hai chalo i'll come out simple she looks like this yeah who will give her work aisi to meri dost dikhti hai to dost dikhti hai that is the point right you want someone on screen that represents you why is that a bad thing 
why is it bad if sometimes we look like you sometimes we have flaws sometimes ek aag badi hai ek naak choti hai ek you know why is it why is it that you want someone to be perfect. impeccable yeah. when you're not we're representing you yeah and but when we are perfect when people give in to this and when people want to be their best self they get things corrected even then they're like oh so fake oh my god plastic ocean just shut up what are you talking about you know they got it done now they feel like their best self you have an issue with that as well because now they don't represent you so what do you want yeah so they will never be happy does it ever get to you never because they are not happy with themselves you know the reason why they get so uncomfortable when they see people doing well who probably has the same uh crooks and nooks as them because then they think mai bhi kar leti so please karo because i think we are in a place where everyone has like a platform to be seen and to be heard and what a beautiful time we're living in so i think instead of pulling people down try your hand at it you know why are you pulling people down and i really believe ki the people who are you know like that really have things to do they're not sitting there commenting under people pulling people down because they realize the psychological effects it can have on an individual so really i couldn't care less movie wise what is it that you are doing movie wise i have a remake coming i know a remake or remake but uh, it's a south remake and i don't want to reveal too much but uh, it's coming this year and i'm super excited for it because the role is very close to my real personality and that was so interesting to play you know uh, someone that you know in fact in that movie i was hardly given a uh, a script like i remember my director i cannot reveal his name it sucks but he used to say ki ha you know just here's the script but see now whatever you want because i'm basically that character and uh, i'm so excited for people to see it new and then to see what they think about it basically. i have to tell you this like because um, your mother is somebody who i'm very fond of and you are like a little sister <laughs> i'll say that out a lot because yes i do have brotherly instincts toward you because of your mom also hmm. the first time i'm meeting you but i know that i have that feeling inside mm, you know when you get into the industry mm-hmm. industry also and reportage can be good bad ugly true and it will be it will get into those um, corners where you wouldn't want cameras mm. right and that has happened in the yeah. past um you know if you go out with friends people will report it and there will be link up because it has also happened with you mm. does this ever affect you are you prepared for it because you i know that you and ibrahim are friends and then it was it was a, it, it was just spoken about mm. so does this affect you and how do you deal with that? so uh it does i mean this particular aspect is very new to me so yeah. uh that kind of did take me aback i was like oh people care that much cuz okay i guess because it's not like i've not been seen with other people you know i have but uh i don't know i think it was new to me and i was a little taken aback and it made me a little uncomfortable but then i realized that it's like part and parcel of what i want to do and if it is then so be it because i really want to do this job man and i'll take whatever It comes my way but i will do this job you know it does he think i'm very happy uh, with whatever is happening in your life and like i said that i hope that whatever you dream and desire for you get uh, because it will not just be your dream i think it will also be your mother's dream sure. so thank you so much thank you